So the topic of this section is verifying trigonometric identities. And we'll talk about that a little because it's very classic material, but it's not something I want to dwell on. I think um, textbooks sometimes kind of lose the plot here and convince themselves that this is much more important than it actually is for most students. So what is important is at knowing what an identity is and at least knowing what the textbook means when it talks about verifying an identity. After, after my kvetching, I managed to get Zoom to use the classic whiteboard that I like. So uh, I guess kind of a tempest in a teapot as far as that goes. Definition. And... Identity is an equality that's always true. Fairly sure I've put this definition up before, but this is as good a time as any to uh, remind ourselves of it. So some equalities are always true, other equalities are not. I mean, maybe that's kind of uh, an obvious statement. But an equality like x plus 1 equals was four is only sometimes true. This statement here is only true when x equals three. Now compare that to um, the following statement. x minus y times x plus y equals x squared minus y squared. This statement is always true. It doesn't matter what x and y are. And again, a statement that's always true is called an identity. And I mean, you see identities elsewhere in mathematics. I mean, this identity here, you probably learned at some point, maybe when you were learning to factor, but trigonometry has a lot of identities. And some of them we've already seen before. For example, that the sine squared plus the cosine squared equals one. That's an identity. We have talked about this. It has the word identity right there in its name. And in this chapter, we're going to talk about and we're going to learn some important identities. And actually, um, in keeping with kind of my strategy of trying to keep individual videos short, I'll call this video 
review of identities or something like that. And I'll end it here. And then in the next video, I'm going to verify the identities that we already know, because there are a few of them.